All right, in this tutorial, we're going to cover just the basics of 3D tracking um, using a match mover. Uh, we're going to basically do some tracking. We're going to put in some points here and set up our X and Y axis and setting up the origin here. Uh, I'm going to start with the process, in which we're going to bring this into uh, After Effects so we can make a JPEG sequence. And basically, we feed the JPEG sequence into uh, Match Mover. And then we'll create the origin and so forth, and then export this out into Maya. And basically, we're just going to put some 3D text here, uh, hovering here. Um, again, this is a very, very simple uh, 3D tracking. We're going to get into more complex uh, tracking and also more complex renderings. We're going to be using composite to uh, Put all these uh, together into one scene. But right now we're just going to get our hands dirty with uh, learning how to do some simple 3D tracking. All right, so let's go ahead and get into uh, After Effects. So I'm going to go ahead and import my file from my desktop. Find my movie. We have our movie, our AVN. Go ahead and drag this down. And you can see that when I drag it down here, it's going to go ahead and size it up to 640 by 480. Um, this is on my digital camera. You may be using my flip cam, which is a 720 by 1280 ratio. But it doesn't really matter for this project. We're just using very small ratios. We will get into. Um, using some high-end cameras where we'll actually be uh, really concerned about uh, a ratio and our focal length and getting all the data on how the camera is reading the scene because this is very important to uh, match with it. All right, so let's go ahead and what we want to do is export this as a sequence. So we're going to go ahead and go to... Oops, go ahead and go to Make Movie. And we're going to go to our best settings here, and we're going to knock this down instead of 30. We're going to go ahead and knock this down to 24 frames per second. This is basically what's in uh, Maya, and you don't want a 30 and a 24. You'll have some lag time, and this will uh, mess up your uh, alignment with uh, Match Mover and Maya. Okay, so we've got 640 by 480. This is what we've imported in. This is the ratio of my camera. Go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and hit lossless here. And this is where we want to go from QuickTime to uh, not PNG. You can use PNG sequence. I haven't had too much luck with that for some reason on the Mac. Um, this is preferable if you have a PC, but uh, I've been doing uh, JPEG um, this afternoon. All right. So we go format options. Just make sure that's um, big. So you have good quality image, and hit OK. And then I want to go ahead and output too. All right, this is very important to uh, look at. You may have an MVI underscore 62090. This is the output of my camera underscore. You will have four pound signs. It is really important that you knock out the fourth one. Just go in here and backspace and delete it. If you have four, once you export from Match Mover to Maya, it will not, for some reason, read that fourth digit. So this will be 000, 0001, 0002 as your sequence. So make sure that you knock out that fourth one. All right, this is uh, the most important thing of this whole tutorial. All right, so I want to go ahead, go to my desktop, new folder. I'm going to call it a door. Okay. Call it whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and put my desktop. Go ahead and save it. Okay, so when I hit save, go ahead and hit render. Okay, so right now you can see on the very bottom it's going all the way through and making my JPEG sequence. All right, so now it's taken from the AVM or movie and making it into a sequence. All right, so I want to go to uh, So 
going to go to my A door. And you can see all my sequences. So you can click through here, you can see that the camera is moving through. All right, so I want to stop here for this tutorial uh, and upload this, and we'll start on match remover in just a second.